So, according to your cycle, this is the time to start AS paper. So, see your paper. June 2019, paper 22, AS. Now, first question. We saw two questions today and two questions share tomorrow. <coughs> Lee, a sole trader, provided the following information from his books of account on 30th April 2019. Okay, these are the balances. Information. Required. Income statement. Okay. Now, if we have to make income statement, we have to start from revenue. Okay. Now, how much is the revenue? Revenue is $165,000. $165,000. So, we have to look for an adjustment. Revenue included to goods sold in April 2019 to a trade customer for 3200 on a sale or return basis. These goods were invoiced with a markup of 60% and were returned by customers in 2019. Now, when you are, have sold something on sale or return basis, this is not this cannot be included in your revenue on 30th April 2019 because the customer has not yet confirmed whether he's going to keep this or he will return and ultimately he has returned. So this 3200 revenue should be removed from the revenue 3200, 161,800 is your revenue. Getting my point clear? Dollar 161,000. And now adding cost of sales. Cost of sales starts with opening inventory. Yes, twelve thousand five hundred. Okay. So opening inventory. Dollars twelve thousand five hundred. Now purchases the amount of purchases is given. Amount of purchases is given. This is amount of purchases. Ninety-seven thousand three seventy. Okay. Ninety-seven thousand three seventy dollars. And now go for the adjustment. An invoice for a, from a supplier dated 28 April 2019 for goods costing $940 had not been recorded in the books of account. So add $940. This is $98,310. Okay. Now, this one. A computer op for office use bought on credit 1st July 2018 costing $1,200 has been debited to purchase account minus $1,200. So your purchase is ninety seven thousand one hundred and ten. Getting my point here? Ninety seven thousand one hundred and ten. This is no purchases. Okay. So that ninety seven thousand. Now, see, class, uh, what we have to do, uh, we have uh, this adjustment. Dollar 250, goods taken up by the owner for his personal use. It must be shown for purchases. S. Yes. Good. 
Roberts. How much? That is uh, two fifty dollars. Should keep it in the packet so you should remember to deduct it or to add it. I will say. Okay. Now the amount is. Ninety seven thousand one ten minus ninety six thousand eight hundred and sixty. Now, what next? Carriage inverse. How much? 670 that is going to be added and the cost of sales carriage inverse. Six hundred and seventy. Okay. Now this is your ninety-six thousand eight sixty is your purchases. Twelve thousand five hundred of inventory. Ninety-six eight sixty plus this amount six seventy. This is hundred and ten thousand zero three zero. Hundred and ten thousand zero three zero is your uh, cost of goods available. Now, what we have to do? We have to less closing inventory. Closing inventory is how much? Okay, we have to go for closing inventory. There is Something wrong in my closing inventory. Closing inventory was valued at 21,340. Got it? 21,340 dollars. But you know, this good, these goods, which were sold. To 3200, its cost should also be included in the inventory because they are going to be returned. They are not yet decided. Actually, when we are making this statement on 30th April, it is not yet decided by the customer. It was decided later on 5th May. So 3200 multiplied by 100 divided by 160. The answer is 2000. So your inventory is 21,340 plus 2000. So this is 23,340. Twenty-three. Uh, it should be in bracket. Twenty-three thousand three hundred and forty is my closing inventory. So after closing inventory, you will get cost of sales over here. Now cost of sales is how much? Minus one one zero zero three zero eighty-six thousand six hundred and ninety is the. 6690 that should also be in the bracket because we have to detect it from the revenue. Getting my point clear? So, here this is our cost of sales. Now, gross profit 161800 is revenue minus 
86,690 is the cost. 75,110 is our gross profit. 75,110 is our gross profit. Okay. Now there are three items we have to include in gross profit. Don't forget every time when you are gross profit, right or whatever it comes to you are making, stop and think. First, decrease in provision for down products. Second, discount received. Third, uh, any other income. So, I don't find any other income over here. I don't find even discount received over here. But there might be a chance of a decrease in uh, provision for dog food debts. Provision for dog food debts is to be maintained at 5% of debts. So, trade receivable is 47,890. 47,890. This is the amount of trade receivables. Now this sale is going to be reduced from trade receivables minus 3,200. Answer is 44,690. And this 690 is the actual back debts. So 44,000 is the net trade receivable multiplied by 5%. Answer is 2,200. Now, provision for doubtful rates already 1850. Yes, we have to decrease by 650. So that 650 is going to be added in the gross profit. Decrease in decrease in provision for for doubtful debts. 600. Okay. And this is going to be added. Six. So now, all together, the gross profit has increased to seventy five thousand. 110 plus 650, 75,760. 75,760. Done? Okay. Now, heading. Heading expenses. Now, come to the expenses. The first uh, expense here is other operating expenses. Other operating expenses, 61,990. I think we do not have any adjustment for other operating expenses. I don't think so. Okay, other operating expenses. Then, How much? $61,990. Then, Now, what next? We have uh, loan interest. So, loan interest is paid 50. But we need to know what is the actual loan interest for the year. Okay? Okay. So, loan interest is how much? Loan is 20,000. Multiply by 3%. 600. Is there any? Okay. Now, the loan was taken on 1st August. So August, September, October, November, December, 2018, January, February, March, April. We have to calculate for nine months. 
It's 450 now. So loan interest is 450. Loan interest. 400 and for nine months, okay? Achha, now, six ninety bed debts. The actual loss. It's also going to be recorded. Bed debts. Bed debts. This is six hundred and. Now, what is left? Depreciation. Okay, motor vehicles, 25% per annum using reducing balance method. Motor vehicles, 32,000 minus 8,000. 32,000 minus 8,000, answer is 24,000. Multiply by 25%, answer is 6. So that is easy. Now, depreciation is going to be uh, a subheading. Now, first is uh, motor vehicles. How much? Six thousand. Now, equipment. Of this equipment depreciation is how much? Okay. <laughs> Is how much office equipment? Ten uh, percent using straight line method. So office equipment cost is four thousand six hundred plus. We have bought uh, additional equipment of twelve hundred. Multiply by ten percent, five eighty. This is five eighty. Now we have to compute total expenses. Now total expenses, how much? Sixty-one nine ninety plus four fifty plus six ninety. Plus six thousand, plus five eighty. Answer is sixty nine thousand seven hundred and ten. Sixty nine thousand seven sixty nine thousand seven hundred and ten. Okay, it should be kept in bracket because we have deducted from the totals of the profits. Okay, now minus seventy five seven sixty six thousand fifty is your profit. 6050, this is your profit. Done? Masha, we have the box. Okay. Now, prepare the following as they would appear in least statement of financial position. Current assets. Now, current assets we have. Now, again, we are going to question. The first is uh, closing inventory. And closing inventory we have to take from income statement. Closing inventory is 23,340. So here, first is closing inventory. 
I always make a mistake by typing closing inventory. Closing inventory is how much? 23,000. $340. Then trade receivables. Trade receivables are how much? It was uh, 44,000. Yes. Less. Provision. For doubtful debts. Okay. When you are computing doubtful debts for balance sheet, you don't need to see for how much provision was reported in the Just apply the percentage. Percentage was 5%. So 44,000 multiplied by 5%. 2,200. So, this is 41,800. Net debtors. Okay. Next is bank is a liability. I don't think so. Any other character is in that. No, 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 no. So, what we have to do? We have to add here twenty-three thousand three forty sixty-five thousand one hundred and forty. Sixty-five thousand one hundred and forty is your total current assets on thirtieth April. Now come to current liabilities. Oh my God, current liabilities. Okay. First of all, should be bank overdraft. We know the amount of bank overdraft. We need to put over here. Amount of overdraft was how much? Eleven thousand two forty. Eleven thousand two forty is about the overdraft first time. Okay, the end. Trade payables is your second liability, but we should not forget to include this amount in trade payables. Uh, this amount. Uh, this amount. Nine hundred and forty. So. Bank overdraft eleven thousand two forty. Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand two forty. Trade payables. Uh, is how much? That was 20, uh, 21,640 plus 940. 26,000, sorry, 21,640 <coughs> plus 940, 22,580. Okay. Three percent loan, first installment. The loan was uh, 20,000 divided by five years, so that is 4,000. 3% loan, first installment is due, now it's current liability. Okay. Anything else? Anything else?
Yes, this one. I forgot. We have paid loan interest only fifty dollars, but actually loan interest is how much? Loan interest is four fifty. Four hundred is accrued interest. We have to write. Yeah, accrued interest or other papers, whatever you want to write. That is. We have only paid so total liabilities would be eleven thousand two forty plus twenty two five eighty plus four thousand plus four hundred thirty eight thousand two twenty is your total contract thirty eight thousand two hundred and twenty that's all. Now, <clears throat> two benefits and two drawbacks of operating as a sole trader. I think the first benefit is uh, uh, no profit and loss. Uh, no, uh, what you call uh, uh, what uh, ownership of total profit and. Uh, Flexibility, drawback, cannot accumulate large capital alone, and cannot manage the business. Lee Fans Marvin has offered to contribute to us to solve and repay Lee's business loan and to provide additional working capital. Marvin has two suggested two options. Okay, option one: form a limited company. We would issue one hundred twenty-five thousand ordinary shares of dollar one each. Marvin would supply for fifty thousand of these shares. Lee and Marvin become directors of the company and paid an annual salary. They plan to declare dividends of six percent per annum. Now, in this case, if you make uh, a limited liability company, they have to pay one hundred twenty-five thousand, but that was six percent, seven thousand five hundred of uh, dividend they have to pay. Okay. Anyhow, they have to pay, and payment of the uh, of dividend is discretionary. On the other hand, <clears throat> there are so much crushing legal formalities in public limited for limited liability company. There are crushing legal formalities. Okay. On the other hand, if they 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 make uh, introduce capital or uh, they make partnership, uh, they can share profit and loss. We can share profit and loss both, uh, but only they have to pay interest on capital fifty thousand, but it will be six percent, three thousand, and profit. So, I think partnership would be better if Marvin is uh, a very close friend. So I think partnership is good because they do not have legal formalities because formation costs and other expenses they have to bear. But partnership has unlimited liability. It should be in joint stock company. The liability is limited to the extent of investment. Okay. Now the decision is yours. But I don't like these kind of questions in uh, accounts. You know that because accounts is, it should always be a paper of calculations. Yeah. Huh? Including all these uh, theoretical subject like business. As a lecture is a we are answering uh, business studies. Okay. Okay. Now, Sophia has provided following information relating to her trade receivables, thirty-first December two thousand eighteen. Percentage of total trade receivables analysis: sixty days, sixty-one to ninety days, over ninety days. Different percentages. Okay. At thirty-first December, total trade receivables fifty-four thousand five hundred. Okay. Dixie, who had been declared bankrupt, owed fifteen hundred dollars. This debt was one hundred and ten days old at thirty-first December. That was to be written off. Okay. Sophia's Palace policy is to make provision for doubt today as five percent of debts is in between sixty-one to ninety, seventy-five percent of debts is in over ninety days. Okay. The balance on the provision for doubt today, first January two thousand eighteen, was eleven hundred. 
Okay. State the general entry to write of an irrecoverable debt. How to make an irrecoverable debt? So when you are making general entry, what we have to do? Irrecoverable debt. Let's debit. How much dollars? How much it is? Fifteen hundred. Ah, one thousand five hundred, and Dixie is going to be dollars one thousand five hundred. Done. Okay. okay. Then calculate the amount of provision for doubtful debt at thirty first December. 2018. Okay, now see. Provision is applied on now. Total receivable is 54,500 multiplied by 20 percent. Answer is 10,900. 61 to 90 days. Total receivable is dollar 10,000. Nine hundred and the percentage applied for bad debts is how much? Five percent. Multiply by five percent. The answer would be ten thousand nine hundred multiplied by five percent. Five hundred and forty-five dollars. Five hundred and forty-five dollars could be bad debt. Okay. Or seventy-five percent for ninety days. So fifty-four thousand five hundred. Multiply by twelve percent. Answer is six thousand five hundred and forty minus fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred the bad debts. Okay, uh, this was the written one. So we got five thousand forty dollars. Five thousand forty dollars multiply by seven point five percent. Yes, seven point five percent. Seven. Seven point five percent multiplied by seven point five percent is six hundred. So the total provision we have estimated is how much? Five point five percent is nine hundred and thirty. Nine hundred and twenty-three. We have estimated. But the balance of provision one was eleven hundred. So it means we have to decrease. We have to decrease. Now, estimated doubtful nine fifty three. Now, uh, what they've asked amount of provision down to the thirty first December two thousand eighteen. Yes, it is nine hundred twenty three because estimated amount is always reported in the balance sheet. Okay. Now, uh, if they've asked for income statement, we have to adjust the amount. Okay. Prepare the provision for down to tax account for the year thirty first December two thousand eighteen. Dates are required. We have to make a T account. Okay. Now, see if they want to see. Uh, uh, the T account. This is the T account. This is the T account. Now name it. Name this provision for doubtful. Now this is the year 2019. Hey, sorry. Not 2018. So see 2018. Here, what will happen? 
On December thirty first, balance CD should be nine twenty. So we have to decrease by one seventy seven. That is going to be added in gross profit one hundred and seventy seven on December thirty first. Transfer to income statement. So, this is eleven hundred. This is also eleven hundred. Account closed. Now, two thousand nineteen. Gen one. Balance BD nine hundred and twenty-three. Done. This is how to make a table. Okay. Now, next question. You are going to the question paper again. Sophia is considering changing the basis of provision with reference to a general provision of two point five. On all traders, she has calculated profit for the year ended December thirty first, two thousand eighteen, four thousand three. After writing up fixes debt, but before making any adjustment for the provision for top sellers, discuss how this change will affect Sophia's profit. Support your answer with relevant calculations. Now, in this question, what we have to do, we have to be a little careful. Profit dollar four thousand three. Old policy and As we calculate, so profit would be how much? This is four thousand one hundred and seventy-seven. Done. Now, change after changing the policy, according to new policy. Net profit is how much? Dollar, dollar, four thousand three hundred. Now provision is how much? <clears throat> See, fifty-four thousand five hundred. Minus fifteen hundred written off fifty three thousand five percent fifty four thousand five hundred minus fifteen hundred fifty thousand multiplied by two point five percent it's thirteen twenty five and minus eleven hundred already in the provision so there is a decrease in uh, increase in provision by two twenty five so less. Or doubtful debts. How much? Two 
So the profit is reduced to four zero seven. So how we describe this? Now according to the new policy, the profit is uh, according to the new policy, profit is decreased. According to old policy. The profit is increasing. Question number three. Okay, we'll do question number three tomorrow, inshallah. So, this is all for today. <clears throat> Kindly subscribe my channel. And you are ready for any, uh, anything you want me to solve for you, any suggestions, any questions, anything else. You're most welcome. Subscribe my channel. Thank you. Take care. Allah. Peace.